Today's questioner asks, why is it that from month to month, I can't find a balance? I either burn myself out doing too much or the opposite, doing too little. I have never really been in a routine as such, and I'm prone to be more awake in the later hours. Okay, so there are a few things here I want to tease apart. First is struggling to find balance in your life and swinging from burnout to doing too little. Second is having a routine. And third is staying up late. I'm going to tackle these in reverse order, starting with staying up late. Some people are early birds, some people are night owls. Depending on your age and what's going on in your life, you might need more or less sleep than someone at another stage in their lives. Staying up late isn't an issue unless you find yourself chronically tired, rushing each morning in a panic because you're running late for work, or if you would rather be on a schedule that works better for the other members of your household. If you decide that it's in your best interest to shift your schedule so you start going to sleep earlier, the best way to tackle it is in little steps. Start going to bed 10 minutes earlier than normal tonight. Keep that new bedtime for several days. Then step your bedtime back by another 10 minutes. Continue this process until you reach your desired bedtime. It will also be in your best interest to explore more about good sleep hygiene in order to fall asleep and stay asleep. I'll link to a blog post in the show notes below with more information on sleep hygiene. Next, let's talk about not having a routine. Again, a routine is something that works better for some people than others. If you thrive on structure and knowing what to expect when, then having a routine in your life will be of great benefit. However, if you're more spontaneous and prefer to allow your day to take shape itself, then a lack of a highly structured routine might work just fine for you. If you feel like you're suffering from not having a routine, check out the video linked up here and in the show notes below on creating and organizing a to-do list, which will help you build out a structure and routine. Finally, let's talk about struggling to find balance in your life and swinging from burnout to doing too little. There are a lot of pieces that can come into play here, so without more information, I'm going to cover the basics. Think back several hundred years before every home had electricity, and we were able to extend light well beyond the hours nature provided it. Back then, people lived in a greater rhythm with nature. During the summer, they were able to be more productive with sunrise and sunset extending the day by several hours. During the winter, people were limited by a shorter day and found themselves either resting more or engaging in quieter indoor activities by limited light. Similar cycles also ran along the lunar cycle. More activity was possible during the full moon and much less during the new moon. So having periods where we're more productive and periods where we're more introspective are natural and normal. In fact, living in harmony with nature is a great way to prevent burnout. During those times when you find yourself doing too little, I would urge you to reconsider if instead you are resting and restoring your energy as you recover from burnout and prepare yourself for another round of overdoing it. It sounds like the way you're currently expending energy includes sharp peaks and deep valleys. You're pushing yourself to the limit, burning through all your energy, and then slowing down to recharge before repeating the cycle. I would instead encourage you to adopt moderation as your motto. You might still find that you have cyclical patterns. I do, moving with the energy of the moon and the seasons. But instead of the sharp peaks and deep valleys, can you smooth the curves between the two? Aim for the Dumbo ride at Disney instead of Space Mountain. I'm sending you a great big 
hug. You've got this. I hope you enjoyed this bit of solicited advice. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I post new content. Thank you.